Dannyverk. It means work of the Danes. The town was founded by Scandinavian pioneers in the 1870s, brought in to clear some of the densest forest in the country. Today, it's a thriving community with famously friendly people. But where exactly is it? Whereabouts is? Dannyverk. Dannyville. Uh. Danny Verk. Oh, Danny Verk. Um, north of Kiri Kiri. Uh, South Island. <laughs> uh, south of Papua. That's about as good as I've got, mate, actually. Danny Verk. Hamilton? South Hamilton. These days, Danny Verk is commuting distance to Palmerston North. But in the 1870s, you risked life and limb to go there as it meant crossing the Manawatu River and traversing the Manawatu Gorge, now closed because of regular landslides. So Danny Verk was considered part of Southern Hawke's Bay because the central Hawke's Bay towns of Waipawa and Waipukuro were a lot more accessible. Where's Danny Verk? Danny Verk's at the heart of the Tararua district. And where's that? It's sort of in between Wairarapa and Hawke's Bay. It's a, a mix of, in the old ways, northern Wairarapa and southern Hawke's Bay, but now it's a district of its own right. Danny Burke's in the middle of everywhere. So if you're travelling through to Hawke's Bay from Manawatu, you'll pass through us. If you're travelling through to Wairarapa from the bay, you'll travel through us. So I always tell people Danny Burke's in the middle of everywhere. But where is it? <laughs> so Dannyburg is located between Central Hawke's Bay, Palmerston North and the uh, Wairapa electorate. So it's nowhere in particular. <laughs> so we call ourselves a land of rangers and one of the challenges that we have got in Dannyburg is people don't affiliate uh, Dannyburg as the largest town of the Tararua district and that's a district that does sit between three others. We're bound by three regional councils and bound by three regions. We're part of the Manawatu Wanganui um, regional council but actually there's a range that sits in between us. So in Dannyburg many people in the past would have affiliated and been known as, as Southern Hawke's Bay. In 1989, when we were amalgamated, we became the Tower Road District. We were one of the last there to be amalgamated because it was one of the more challenging districts. The Dannyverk District Council was formed from an amalgamation of the Dannyverk Borough Council and Dannyverk County Council. Then in 1989, the Dannyverk District Council amalgamated with four other councils to form the Tararua District Council. Dannyverk found itself the biggest town in the district, ahead of Woodville, Ekitahuna and Pahiatua. At first, the amalgamated councils had an unhappy marriage. The council meetings would have been fire and fury, you know, and we've just recently lost Bob Trotter, um, who was our first mayor, and he's spoken to me um, of that. You know, the, the memories are very, very vivid. But now, if one of our, you know, our towns have had to learn to, to, to like each other, to work together, to wait their turn, you know, we couldn't afford to do every water treatment plant, but we've gone through um, systematically and done those. Each town's waited for its town upgrade. I think culturally there was that clash when they first set up the district. Some that associated themselves with Wadded Upper and some with Hawke's Bay and then you just, for administrative reasons, they were lumped together. But those, I think those days are gone, long gone now, and there really is this appreciation of the Taradua district. And uh, yeah, and I, I would support any cause to try and raise that awareness. Uh, Hawke's Bay, just past Woodville I guess to me, yeah, yeah. It's not far from Palmerston North. Depending on where you live in, in some of our towns, you would have had a close affiliation to other parts. So people in Dannyburg have a natural affiliation to the Hawke's Bay. We get the, the Hawke's Bay today is the newspaper of Dannyburg. The um, Southern Hawke's Bay Country Women's Institute um, had a vote at their annual general meeting and it was a privilege to be there and watch this vote and they voted to change their name to Tauarua Country Women's Institute. Now that, you know, that vote um, was not unanimous but they had that conversation because actually people didn't understand where Southern Hawke's Bay Country Women's Institute was either if you wanted to join and you lived in Pahiatua. I understand the confusion is where is Dannyburg? So I always say we're in the middle of everywhere and as a, as, a, as a people we also work with everybody around us. 
and the confusion continues. While Danny Virk is part of the Wairarapa electorate, its MP says Danny Virk isn't in Wairarapa. I suppose it depends on who you ask, but uh, uh, it's certainly in the Taradua district. I think some people that have been living there for a long time, some would consider it Southern Hawke's Bay. Um, some would consider it part of Manawatu because they fall within the Manawatu Wanganui regional council boundaries. Um, one thing's for sure, it's not wired up, so at least we can cross that one off the list. But nobody has told Met Service, which lists Danny Virk in Wairarapa. And because of the closed gorge and sometimes tenuous road to Palmerston North, Tararua Civil Defence keeps a link with Hawke's Bay, as does the fire service. While it's two years away from completion, the Manawatu Tararua Highway could increase the trend of Tararua district residents commuting to Palmerston North. But with its unique setting, the district will continue to shine. There's many people that, uh, that say when the new road opens up, towns will become satellites of those. I guess you've still got that barrier, you've still got that, that big city. I think there'll be many people that will choose to live in the Tararua district. Um, you get a lot of, we've got all the facilities that you'd find in the big centres, but we actually have really small caring communities. It's a great place to raise children. You know, it's got a unique history, uh, a history of uh, cooperation between Viking settlers, the Scandinavian settlers and the local iwi, and a real special story to tell. Anyone that has any links to Scandinavia through their own family heritage should really go and check out Norswood. It's like a little Norway, and also Dannevik's the same as well. I mean, everyone has heard of Ikatahuna, but they may not know that it was, uh, by the settlers, it was called Malinskov. Yeah, all these sorts of things that if you don't go and check it out could be lost in, in history. So uh, yeah, go and check it out. It'll surpass all of your expectations. It is the people of Wellington, always on the lookout for a good weather weekend escape, that know exactly where Danny Virk is. North of Masterton, between Masterton and the Hawks Bay. It's in the Manawatu and it's well known. It has lots of um, Viking there are Vikings everywhere there. Danny Virk and the surrounding districts, friendly locals and unique history keeps drawing visitors in. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.